Hey, what's up everyone, Rubel here and welcome back to a new tutorial on how to use the new and updated OBS. Now, I have, um, the last one hit over 100 views, it's one of my best videos so far, so, somehow, but yeah, so I guess, uh, since there has been a new update, then I would make another one. Um, now, when I updated this version, uh, you may have experienced it too, but I was right about to film or record, and then this new update comes, and I was uh, like, oh, new update, cool. I upload, uh, updated it, and when I was about to record again, it was it was oh, uh, 0 0.16.1. Then, then, right when I was about to record again, a new update comes up, right after. Uh, 0 0.16.2 So I just want to let you know that if this happened to you too, then it's no big deal. Just download both and be done with it uh, Yeah, so uh, As you can see my screen here is white, but if you're wondering how to get a black screen like uh, this is uh, How you do it? I, I like the black screen most it's I just like it that way this way I like it best this way, uh, but there's no changes in it. Uh, there's only the color. Not, 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 no settings has been changed. Then. So, as you can see, my mic is going up when I talk because that's what I do. I forgot to put on music. Uh, I was a, I was going to do that, but I, I forgot. Whatever. So, as you can see, to record right now, I am using OBS uh, Display Capture. Uh, you can see it down there it's recording I'll just put up I'll just put it it there and then open a new one if I may there we go um, just a minute there we go now I'm not recording with this one uh, the other one is on the screen so as you can see I'm just gonna remove this this is what it's gonna look Okay, it's gonna start off with white, but just change it to, to dark. In you go into settings, it'll pop up in general, and then theme. Yeah. Okay. So this is what it's gonna look like right when you download it. Oh man. You know what? I'm just gonna show you the page to down download it to. OBS download. Just search for that. And yeah. You'll get to open broadcaster software. Uh, then you'll choose. Uh, I I would choose Windows because that's what I use. Um, latest Windows release. Download OBS Studio. I hope I'm not gonna download it though. Oh, it is shit. Uh, stop it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait a second. Download OBS. I was not. Uh, ready for this? Uh, wait a second. Um, uh, yeah, you just find some, uh, something to download it on. However, this is what it's gonna look look like. And if you want to film the screen, then it depends if it's a, an internet game or a game in general. The most games in general, you'll need the game capture. When I film Five Nights at Freddy's and all, I use game, except for Five Nights at Freddy's 4, for, because for some reason that needs uh, display. But, yeah, when I record most of my games, I use game capture. But, however, uh, to record your screen, you will take display capture. Then it's going to look like this. Uh, and then you just press OK and all. It's cool, cool. And then you, yeah that's the first part <laughs> now if you would like to add face cam too then I don't know if you've seen the other video I made because uh, yeah whatever it's uh, that not much has really changed uh, at, at the update but then you go oh by the way I right click and then add just uh, no. <laughs> okay then you go to add and then you put in video capture device you choose um, 
I have free here. I don't know why face freak popped up. It's just stupid. I don't know why. But uh, then you uh, choose the camera you wish to film with. I'll choose HP True Vision HD. Uh, and as you can see right now, I'm here. <coughs> oh my god. Um, and then you can make it smaller. You can even take it upside down if you would like to. Like this. Uh, yeah. You can choose it like this and it's gonna look like this. You can you can change anything. So I'm just gonna take away my face now because no one would like to watch it. Uh, yeah. Then you just right click on this and remove if you want or rename it if you would like to. I just keep it like normal. Okay. That's the basics. Uh, now I'm gonna teach you a little bit a bit about the uh, settings I don't know much about it but I'll tell you what I know now I have chosen it on English however if you if you uh, have to uh, a warning if you if your mine was on Danish first now I took it on English for some weeks ago I don't know but if you want to change uh, your language then be aware because then every setting everything you have uh, been changed inside the setting will go back to uh, scratch you know will go back to uh, the first one so just a warning um, then here yeah, I don't know what these are and I don't really care because I, I don't think you're gonna use them uh, we don't want to care about stream because uh, we're not gonna learn about that now okay so you go to output and I choose video bitrate 8000 uh, I think it's really good to choose that because it's between 5 and 10,000 uh, it's like it's okay I think so just choose 8000 and, th and then that's done output mode simple what happens to me oh shit okay um, yeah th this is nothing you should care about you should only care about simple it Taken on simple 8000 encoder software uh, 264 audio bitrate always 320 always 320 no matter what always 320 enable advanced encoder settings it should yeah you should enable that so you can get this if you don't you'll lose that and yeah now if you if you have a very fast PC Super fast PC, who can, uh, pro gaming PC. Then I then take slower, cause then the video will be better, uh, and all and all, uh, and then if you got a bit slower than a pro gaming, still very good and then slow, medium, fast, fast, or very fast, and down. Now I have a <laughs> really slow computer, so I I have it on ultra fast, um, which will make the video. Uh, not so good, but very fast. Uh, custom encoder settings are just gonna skip. Recording path, if you, that's when you end the video, it will transport your video to what you choose. I choose mine to go. What? No, no. I choose mine to go uh, to transport into videos. Then you just choose choose uh, there, and then the encoder software or the uh, link to yeah your videos will pop up there, and then you just go in. Generate file name without space. Skip that. Recording quality same as stream. The, uh, it, it's best with that always. Recording format is should be MP4 because uh, then you'll film a video like these are just yeah those are just stupid you shouldn't care about just take mp4 <laughs> uh, and then custom moxer settings I don't know what so just skip that too audio sample rate I choose uh, 44.1 uh, something channels stereo uh, desktop audio device default device 2 disabled because I don't have one 
uh, mix aux auxiliary audio uh, device. I use my uh, headset, my Razer headset, and it is called Microphone Realtek High Definition Audio. As you can see, I could choose a lot of the others, but that would just be stupid. Uh, when I get a microphone, a real mic, I'm gonna uh, spare for, or buy a uh, red, uh, a red. Well, how can I say it in English? Um, R O with a line through it. D E. It, it's a Danish or it's. I think it's a Danish. Um, a microphone, but I'm gonna save for that because that is a really good microphone, and then I'm just gonna change it from this to what it's called in here. Uh, Oxera uh, just disable those. Um, and these are just uh, things you shouldn't care about. So audio done. Then we move on to video. Now my screen is a one one thousand uh, one three. Uh, 1366 uh, times x768 monitor uh, screen uh, like if I if I choose something else it's gonna be stupid but I only have two of those and those are the same so output scale resolution is I think that's the other monitor I don't I'm not really sure but I think so um, downscale filter should be, I don't know, uh, by cubic uh, sharpen scaling is what I use. I, uh, I'm not really sure if I should take blind ear. Uh, uh, I think since it's just, yeah, I I choose the middle right now. That's how I film my videos right now. But uh, uh, you. This is for the best PCs, this is for the worst PCs, and I have one of the worst PCs, so, but right now I'm using Bicubic. Uh, I choose 30 FPS frames per second because uh, it's not too fa fast and not too slow, so, and I have like the medium, probably very bad PC. And you just take common FPS values. Hotkeys is easy, that's just up to you. If you want to stream, then for example take F5 as start and F4 or I would, cha I would choose the same just because, yeah. Ah oh, shit. Uh, oh wait, clear, clear. So, uh, to start recording I use F6 and to stop recording I choose F6. Now it's not, it's not gonna do like when I press it, it, it's gonna start and stop right in a second, no. It, and when I press it once, it starts. When I press it once again, when I wanna end the video, then it stops. So easy is it. You can find out this yourself, it's not really that important, but yeah. You can also press on start recording if you want to. Um, advanced. Now this is the most important thing, I think. So, choose high on uh, process priority, should be high. Renderer should be direct 3D 11. I can't tell you why, because I'm not really good at that, but I, it has worked for my videos. Color format should be NV12. Color space, 601. Color range, always full. Um... And these are not really important, but just take as it is at mine if you want. And then there's the fold and all. So that was the setting, and I don't think there's very much else to talk about. Uh, I've never really made an image slideshow or any of the others. I've only used display game. Display capture and game capture and video capture device. I've never, and maybe window capture. I think I've used that once. I don't know. But scenes, I don't really get what that is. No, no, shut up. But that is the basics. I uh, to to make your sound low and high, I just choose this. Now, wait a second. If I do it, 
If I do it on the other one now, if I now take the arm louder, if I now says the same, uh, how can I say? It? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it very low, yeah, like this. Uh, No, uh, you couldn't hear me, right? Right? Good, good, good. I I have it on uh, one point three d uh, dB. That's not too loud and that's not too low either. Uh, I put scene transitions fade duration three hundred milliseconds, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I will hope you'll get it to work. And by the way, I don't, I don't think you can change screen screen. I don't think you can do something about green screen on OBS. You should then you should get a uh, an editing program. Now, if you're one of those who buys editing, who who has money and want to buy a pro editing program, then choose for example Premiere Pro. I've heard that is really great, but I don't have the money to uh, buy that. Um, and I so I'm using this free program called VideoPad Video Editor. It is <laughs> it's pretty shit program uh, since it takes such a long time to import it to a video file and all. But it but there's so many there's very much yeah you can do very much. So yeah that is. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. I don't know more myself. Actually, I, yeah, I just showed off. I didn't know how uh, half of this. But I hope this helped you uh, make a video. If not, uh, then try watch other videos. It works. I promise you, OBS works. <coughs> now, Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you did uh, like it, then uh, or if it was helpful, then be sure to leave a like and leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.